pretty petunias are one of the most popular flowers because of their exceptional blooms and long flowering period. As with most annuals, they get leggy by midsummer, so you'll want to prune the shoots back to about half their length. See how to plant and take care of your petunias to keep them blooming. About petunias. Petunias are treated as annuals in most areas, but can be grown as tender perennials in zones 9 to 11. The flowers come in many colors and patterns, and bloom from the spring until frost. These colorful annuals can really add pop to a front lawn and are often used in borders, containers, hanging baskets or even as a seasonal ground cover. Some even have a slight fragrance. Their height can vary from 6 inches to 18 inches and they can spread along the ground anywhere from 18 inches to 4 feet. Types of Petunias Petunias are divided into different groups, mainly based on flower size. Multiflora petunias are the most durable and prolific. They have smaller but more abundant flowers and are ideal for summer bedding or in a mixed border, because they are more tolerant to wet weather. Grandiflora petunias have very large flowers and are best grown in containers or hanging baskets, because they are more susceptible to rain damage. These large petunias often do not fare as well in the south because they're prone to rot during humid, hot summers. Floribundas Floribundas are intermediate between the Grandiflora and the Multiflora groups. They are free flowering like the Multiflora varieties and produce medium sized blooms. Milliflora's Milliflora petunias are much smaller than any other petunias on the market. The flowers are only 1 to 1 and a half inches wide, but they are prolific and last all season. Spreading or trailing petunias, these are low growing and can spread as much as 3 to 4 feet. They form a beautiful, colorful ground cover because the flowers form along the entire length of each stem. They can be used in window boxes or hanging baskets. Petunias need full sun or they will become spindly. They don't tend to flower well in shade. The soil should drain well and not stay overly wet, especially in containers. It should also be moderately fertile to promote the best growth. Amend poor soil with finished compost prior to planting. When to plant petunias It's easiest to buy young plants from a nursery that sells petunias in flats. Look for plants that are short and compact. Leggy petunias with tons of flowers already won't settle in as fast. If you want to grow petunias from seed, start the seeds indoors 8 to 10 weeks before your last spring frost date. See your local frost dates. Plant young petunias outdoors after your last spring frost date, but keep a close eye on the weather forecast and protect young plants from late frosts. How to plant petunias Petunia seeds are very small, dust-like, and need lots of light in order to germinate. When the young plants have three leaves, plant them outside. Space the plants about one foot apart. If you're planting petunias in containers, use a container potting mix that will drain well. Growing Petunias are fairly heat tolerant, so you shouldn't have to worry about watering them frequently. A thorough watering once a week should be sufficient, unless there are prolonged periods of drought in your area. Avoid watering shallowly, as this encourages shallow roots. Note, the spreading types of petunias and those in containers will require more frequent watering than those planted in the ground. Fertilize petunias monthly with a balanced fertilizer to support their rapid growth and heavy blooming. Double flowered cultivars enjoy a bi-weekly dose of fertilizer.